It's time to fasten your seat belts as we satisfy the need for speed with some indoor go-kart racing at Fast Kart Speedway. Carts in Salt Lake City with the owner, Joe Miller. How did Fast Carts come about? How'd you guys get started? Well, in the 80s and 90s, I spent the majority of my time racing all over the country. And especially for televised shows, you're in a town for three days. There's not a lot to do in those towns. Went to go-kart tracks. And I thought, you know, this would be fun to do someday. I had a, another business and it had some extra money. And I decided I wanted a go-kart track and then it took off like a bottle rocket. This is the most adrenaline pumping fun you can have. We have video games, we have pizza, chicken and fries, things of that nature. If you have a large group, we'll cater anything you want, whether it's beanies and weenies or beef wellington. Whatever you want, we'll do. So you said that you were racing all over the country. What were you racing? NASCAR, stock cars, tour cars, sprint cars. Um, I really started out building them, helping out other guys building them, and then that progressed to me racing. Um, but it really turned out I was kind of better at building stuff. I build all this equipment. I wanted to bring the excitement that I get when I go racing or I'm at the racetrack to everybody. And I kind of thought we would just appeal to racers in the beginning. And that's a fairly limited market. And what I came to realize over time is everybody, doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man, you wanted to drive a go-kart when you were a kid. So if I give a go-kart to somebody that goes a little bit faster, handles a little bit better, they just come, they walk out here with the biggest grins you've ever seen. There's a sweet spot in a baseball bat. There's definitely a sweet spot in the racetrack. If somebody's in the sweet spot, you're not going around them. You're just not going to. Right, and you can't, it you can't like bump each other. I mean, this is not bumper cars. It's not bumper cars, but there is incidental contact. Okay. Inc incidental. incidental <laughs> <laughs> so people, if they wanted to get, you know, kind of competitive or like maybe look into racing, they could start here. This is the least expensive form of racing with the greatest amount of experience anybody could do. Anybody. That's awesome. There's a few unique things. I mean, you build everything here. You've thought out this track. You also have like a really legitimate time system. Yes, we use the same system that NASCAR, uh, IndyCar, and many other race series use. We use um, MyLapse transponders. We used to be, tra and they, right here, the lines in the floor is it transmits a radio signal. As the transponder goes by, it records each one as it goes by. And it's good down to a hundredth of a second. We're writing new software so we can manage all of our locations from one spot. So you could walk into this location, they would pull you up in Spokane or Ogden or Orem and have all your details. And then you would be able to log in and look at all your details online. Oh, that's cool. So you can just keep setting personal records Absolutely. no matter where you're at. Well, the idea is to have a racing series. Oh, I love it. So we do some leagues. I was just about to ask about that. How competitive does it get? crazy competitive. Thank you so much, Joe, for having us. Thank you for coming. Now we get to go race. Let's go race. Woohoo!